Hello friends, in this video we are going to be discussed about how to pass API key in header for REST Azure Cluster. Kindly go through my previous video which is how to send API key in header at postman. This video will give you how to generate API key. That API key how we can pass inside postman. This is for manual flow. The same concept we are going to be implement inside rest assured api automation okay go to postman this is the url which is i passed to here this is the http request to get so using this api url already i have passed api key <coughs> sorry already i passed api key inside header which is key and value Right, the same thing how we can implement inside rest assured. Let's go to Eclipse. I'm going to be create one class file, which is uh, header header API key. So now I'm going to be create one test public void ap key header test i'm going to be define annotation of your test of input so uh, now i'm going to be show you the pom.xml so this is the naive and dependency i added for rest assure which is the latest version of 5.0.1 Okay, you can use the same thing. So now I'm going to be define that uh, base URL. So in that case, rest assure control space bar. That time you will be get some suggestion the stuff method. Here you can implement IO dot rest assure. This is the right package of the rest assure. Dot you can define base URI. Here you can store that api request url as a string one go to here copy this whole things to eclipse paste over here now we are successfully called the request url now we are going to be pass header and as well as what http request we are going to be handled those details we need to provide inside rest assured right response this equal provide sorry rest assured rest assured data here you can give us a bdd framework level given dot now you can set header header here you need to pass which is key and value right in that case you can choose header alone okay double course this is the key this is the value after put data so okay anyway we have to pass this one what is the header we have to add it here you can notice one thing already lot of uh, different uh, key and value has been updated under header section you don't want to call all of things because manually what key value we added the api key alone right this is things only we have to pass inside rest assured otherwise this request url it will be considered with the default headers key and value pairs so in that case you have to take this is the only key and value we have to pass here this is the key go to postman this is the value done when when i'm going to be pass http request method which is get get you have to pass url here you will be get some confusion so what is this URL? 
what is this url what we are going to be passed inside gate so this is the base uri base uri means this is the base uri this is the subject of the ch child of content in that case you have to cut this collection paste over inside gate got it again i repeat you base uri means up to dot com this is the parent website for launching the application if you are passing a slash home or contact it for uh, career like this this is for child of that parent website so that child part we should pass inside get http request method so after passing get url put then we are going to be validate that response so extract dot response so this is the way you have to pass one by one this is the bdd format which is div1 then then now we are successfully added header and uh, http request method what http request url we need to pass inside how to pass it successfully we need to what we are going to be validated here that response we need to extract that response alone right next i'm going to be print the status code so response code or else we can put a status code this dot status code so after that i'm going to be print the status line this dot status line first i'm going to be execute this things what output we will get let's see run as test ng test see the status code is 200 the status line is 200 okay go to postman this is the status okay 200 code status line means it will be take 200 and as well as okay so now we are going to be check what is the response body we are we received go to eclipse now response body res dot pretty print so using this pretty print method only we can able to uh, print the json format output let us see i need to save executor successfully you can find status code and status line those response body json it will be print successfully go to postman see the same collections only we have seen inside console this is the way you can pass api key in header for restrictive test okay thank you